there, and they're all running uh, good stuff. Oh, yeah, dude. I love hearing Fidelity, man. Dude, I love to hear Fidelity. I mean, dude, to me, you know what I mean? I, when I hear a Fidelity radio, I, dude, I stand at attention. Well, yeah, I've been an audiophile on the receive for about six years, but I didn't have no money to really go into the, the transmit side. But this little thing here, man, $60.802, and this little $20 uh, AR30, man, it does the deal. It's doing it, man. No doubt, man. No doubt, it's definitely doing it for you. Yeah, I like, uh, I've been doing the Fidelity thing for just years and years on end, man. Been playing around, playing around. Dude, I've had Cobra 29s. I got a, I got a Cobra 2 Grand that's three times wider than this radio here, bro. I got a Cobra 2000. I'll, I'll get it going here. I just, uh, for some reason, it's uh, it's low on the watts, so I'm gonna put it in the shop. But it's uh, it's as wide, it's wider than a flex radio, brother. It is wider than a flex radio, there, Roger. Now is that like on AM only, or will it do that on sideband too? It'll do it on sideband too, man. Sideband too, there, Roger. Wow, yeah, yeah, that's uh, the, I don't know, it has some good filtering in there, but uh. Yeah, the other day you were saying how that Pro Tools and all that, that uh, it, 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 does it actually push it out wider than the radio itself? Does it make it so stretch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can stretch it out. As far as this radio goes, there's filtering in this radio. But the thing with the Cobra 2000, brother, is uh, there's zero filtering. I'm not, I'm just modulating the final on the radio. So whatever I'm putting out there, Every bit I'm putting out there is going out. Yeah, yeah, the analog deal, man. A lot of them digital DSP ones, you can't really stretch much, but the analog stuff is big stretch. You know, uh, I, I was in back whenever I started listening with uh, John and, and uh, uh, it was Tyler and them when they first did the 850 yeah, DSP talk, deal and the silver wiring went out 6K. Yeah, I, I was in on yeah. that. You know, just on the receive side, but I knew all about that back when that all started. Here I, I ordered from MF. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, that's uh, that's good stuff, man. That's just good stuff, bro. Yeah, I just uh, I've modulated uh, like final tubes, you know, the B plus on tubes, and done all kind of uh, crazy, crazy stuff, heising and all that crazy stuff, but uh. Yeah, that Cobra 2 Grand, man. I'll put that on the air. I'm going to put that in the shop, bro. I'll put it in the shop, and when I pull that thing out, it will blow you away. It will blow you away. Like I said, whatever I'm putting through, it's going to pass. It's going to pass whatever I'm putting through, bro. And that thing there can... It thumps, dude. <laughs> it thumps there, Roger. Yeah, yeah, my buddy Jason up there in Quebec, he was talking about wanting to get one of them. They got that new board you can put in there, and it widens out all the uh, all the band all the channels are the frequency bandwidth basically. And uh, he was talking about wanting to get one of them. Uh, if you ever hear him in there, he's uh, he says he's around Montreal, but he's actually east of there, and his name's Jason. Uh, he used to go by Delta Four, but I think he's changed up his numbers again. But uh, he's on an 870 fed in the back with an AR2020 and a Velari preamp and all that. He's, he's hi-fi. Yeah, I got a bunch of old Velari stuff and Bel uh, Behringer stuff. Dude, I got rid of that stuff, bro. I didn't get rid of it. I still got it, but uh, do the Pro Tools, bro. <laughs> yeah, what's he going to get? Oh, he's going to get one of those uh, motor mouth modulator boards. Yeah, that's a way to go, too, man. That's a way to go, too, man. That's uh, some pretty slick stuff, too, man. No, uh, no two ways about it. But, yeah, that rack here, dude, I'm so past that, man. I mean, it was fun, dude. Don't get me wrong, but what a pain in the nut. What a pain in the ass, man. This right here, direct connect right to the PC, and I can just adjust. I can adjust with my mouse there, Roger. Yeah, well, see, I told him about that uh, yesterday when I talked to him, and... Uh... He was saying he still wants to go with the 2496 because he said that 2496 will do everything. He only needs really one piece to do what he wants to do. 
I said, well, I don't know, man. You at least need to check into that thing because uh, from what he tells me, it's got a lot of options in it. And uh, that's why I was wondering, uh, you never did say how wide was it uh, you were going out. Yeah, man, I try to keep it respectable. I'm only about six and a half, man. Try to keep it respectable. Get too far out there, man. <clears throat> Get too far out there, and, you know, folks will be, uh, you be, the, especially if they're on a CB radio, dude, you just wash them out, dude. They'll be like, what the hell is that noise? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's about the right. That's about what the uh, the SDXs and the, the old 850s with the DSP do. They do about six and a half. That's about the, the right deal, especially, uh, I feel like, say, on side, where you're all the way down on the Nick 5 down there, they're even doing that. But uh, I was telling him that you were wider than the radio because that, that, uh, that's the Azu 2000, right? Yeah, Roger, I know. Yeah, man, I just, with the mouse click, man, you know. I could just take this mouse, put a little more bass in my audio. Hello, radio. Test one, two, three. Look at that right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that. Uh, what some people call the muddy side, but uh, yeah, you had it. You had it good. You know, if you if you punch it too hard, a lot of people's speakers can't take it, especially if they're listening to the radio. I, I use a home. I use a home stereo speaker, a three-way 100-watt home stereo speaker to listen on. Oh, yeah, Roger on that, man. Yeah, dude, I can, uh, I've been known to, uh, I've had guys tell me that their speaker's rattling. I mean, it's shaking on the shelves, man. I could, uh, really drop some heavy, heavy duty. <laughs> I could drop some real heavy duty. Oof, damn. That's a little too hot, but, uh, yeah, man. No, uh, I have a lot of fun with it, man. I get a lot of compliments, man. Dude, I get so many compliments on this station, dude. It just, it just makes you feel good, you know what I mean? And like I said, if you get too far out there, bro, you get on the CB band or something, you know, a lot of guys out there running uh, nice rigs, they're like, damn, that's beautiful. But then, you know, you stretch it too far out there, man. The guys on the CB band, dude, they're like, dude, it's all running together, you know what I mean? Well, that's the deal. Also, even on uh, a lot of the uh, the high-end radios, they only receive Where out to six the anyway. The only ones that will receive more than six are the flexes, and there ain't too many people. I've only heard three people on flexes on eleven. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, man, those uh, those flex radios are nice, man. I definitely uh, I'm definitely uh, gonna have to pick one up. I'll pick one up, play with it. I'm gonna pick one up and play with it, cause uh. I'd be cool to roll video gate on that and just record the whole screen and put that on YouTube there, Roger. Uh, yeah. Well, like I said, there's there's a, there's a code, but it's not like a regular conversion deal. There's a code that you've got to get to put them, make them talk here. And not everybody's got them. You, I'm sure you'll be able to find somebody with the people you know uh, that you'll just have to get that code. I'm, I know they have it out for the 1,000, but I'm not sure about the 5,000. Oh, yeah, they got it for the 5,000, too. Oh, man, I got about eight or ten buddies that run Flex Radio, so I'm pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I got. I think I got it. I think it's eight. I got eight guys that run them. I got guys that got 5,000s, too, man. And they're also, uh, they get, they're coded up, and they got them opened up there, Roger. All right, yeah, well, I figured you, uh, you had it all, you know, you had what you needed to get if you get one, so... Uh... Yeah, all right, man. I'll let it go. I imagine somebody else might want to get in there and enjoy that thing. But uh, that's uh, oh yeah, I was just gonna before I end here. Uh, he was telling me that it wouldn't stretch past the 4K, and I said, well, dude, I don't know. When I hit the wide mode on this radio, he sounds like he's at 6K to me. Yeah, I think I'm uh, right about 6.3, 6.3. I think I'm right out there about a uh, 6.3 there, Roger. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not going to hear a lot of difference between 6.0 and 6.5, 6 you know, whatever like that. It's not going to change much once you get out there. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to talk to him. And it, is that, is that a, like that uh, that Pro Tools box thing, is that its a separate website or than the, just the Pro Tools one normally or what? All right, when you go down, you go to your, your music store or whatever, wherever you buy your Pro Tools at, or you can buy it online. It's basically software. You buy this software, okay? And uh, and you're paying for the software too, and it is it's not cheap, like I said, man. Uh, dude, I think you can get it for 200 bucks, dude. 
I think you can get it for 200 bucks. I think my friend was telling me that. Because I asked him the other day because he picked one up. But it's just a single mic, and I got two mics. And I, you know, I bought the real elaborate one, whatever. But, um, yeah, basically, and then it comes with software, okay? And this thing plugs in USB into your computer, and it's a little box, and you plug your microphone in there. It's got input jacks and output for your radio. So it's got input for the microphone, or you can even input... You can input a, a, a mixer if you want it, which wouldn't be crazy. I mean, it's already got a built-in mixer, but... And you can also put, like, sound bites, you know what I mean? If you want to just hit a sound bite or something. I mean, I got a, I got sound bites built into my radio, but... Yeah, man, and uh, you just hook it right in. I mean, dude, it's the easiest operation in the world. And I've got Bellari. I've got all the top name brand stuff, bro. But it's not a... It's not taking up radio room, dude. It's just a computer program. I mean, you got, you know, you got two preamps in this program. And what you do is you stack them on top of each other. It's like you stack them in your house. You just stack them on top of each other, and you could tweak on them. Turn this knob on that one. It looks just like the piece of equipment that you got already. But you could just tweak it with the mouse, you know, and turn it up and down, all the pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was thinking about all that. I kind of pretty much knew that from what you said before, but uh, I was just curious where, like, if I tell him where to actually look on the Internet where he could see it and uh, price it and all that. Yeah, just Pro Tools. Just punch in Pro Tools. Uh, I'll tell you a place that I buy a lot of stuff, and they got free shipping and this and that, and, and no tax and all that, is uh, Musician's Friends. Musicians Friends, that's the place I go to. And plus, you know, they always give you great deals there. And pretty much the cheapest price on everything, you know what I mean? You could shop around a little bit, but Musicians Friends usually always has the best price. Free shipping, you know what I'm saying, bro? So that's kind of the way, that's kind of the way to go right there. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, I know Musicians Friends, all right, yeah, he knows that too. I was just, uh, I hadn't really heard about that. You know, I'd heard of the Pro Tools deal about, you know, the other stuff, though, just like the playback and all the other stuff. I never really heard about that box thing. I don't know if that's fairly new that they've come out with recently or or what the deal is, but uh, I hadn't really heard anybody using it in an application like you're using it until uh, you and, uh, who is that other one, 2112, he said he was running it and he helped you set it yours up. Yeah, Roger. And, um... Uh... The thing is, bro, they're for recording studios, bro. Every recording studio has Pro Tools, bro. This thing is so elaborate that uh, you could hook mixers and stuff to it, outside mixers, and it'll automatically adjust for sound and shit, man. It'll move the mixer for you and stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a high-end piece of equipment. You'll look into it, musicians, friend. I'll guarantee you, every one of your favorite songs that you love that are coming out for the last 10 years on the radio was produced with Pro Tools. But uh, we got some guys up here that started uh, saying, hey, man, with all these effects and stuff, I'm trying to do a little broadcasting with this Pro Tools and... Dude, it took off from there, bro. It took off from there. I had I was talking to a guy that was using it, and he, uh, boy, he was doing some crazy stuff. I was like, oh damn, I gotta get me that. And dude, I never looked back, bro. Never looked back. I just said, to me, this thing should be ten thousand dollars. It should be worth ten thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I copy. Like I said, I, I've, uh, you know, I monitor all bands and everything, and I've never really heard too many people playing that way. Uh, uh, how long is that, uh, you know, where people started figuring that out? Did they first start figuring it out on AM, and then it, it worked its way up here, or, or how long has it been? Yeah, it was the AM thing. It was the AM thing, you know what I mean? Wide broadcast, and people putting them on flex radios. Yeah, because I kind of got the idea from Sir Mix-a-Lot. I got the, the idea from Prime Minister. You ever hear Prime Minister out there? 
Yeah, yeah, Prime Minister, yeah. I didn't know that he was Sir Mix-a-Lot until uh, 